All right, we're out in the camper today and our hope is to have everything painted by the end of the weekend. That is three days, two and a half. Can two, it be done? Two days. <laughs> because Dawn makes it sound like we're starting to paint now. We have to do a lot of work first. So we've gone from like, oh yeah, this is a pretty good idea to hey, this is a good idea to oh my goodness, this is the worst idea in the whole entire world. Those were my words. <laughs> but where did we ultimately land on whether or not it was a good idea to spray paint the camper? Well, we'll tell you coming up next. I feel like I should just let Tom carry this conversation because... Well, I don't know that you should because people like to watch uplifting and happy videos <laughs> and not the video that I would portray about now. So it's, it's not too cold in Minnesota right now. It's in the low 30s. Upper 30s right now. Which is warm for us. Which is super warm. But we do need to have like the heat running, so hopefully it's so not. So we do have heat on. It's, yeah. Hopefully it's not too noisy. But why don't you go over real quick, Tom, what needs to be done before we can even start masking. Or... Well, what needs to be done is nothing. We need to load it, hook it up, <laughs> and leave. That's what needs to be done. All right. What is going to be done <laughs> is we're gonna demo all this. It's all going away. We're gonna take off all the window treatment everywhere. Mm -hmm. This is going goodbye mm -hmm. all around it. Then I gotta finish building stuff back here, do some board and batten up here on the new wall. Yep. Um, finish trimming out underneath our bed. That is new. Oh, right. And then also pull out the mattresses. We gotta get, yeah, all the mattresses have to come out with all the window treatments, all the hardware, and then we have to tape like our life like depended crazy. on it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so last week we <laughs> talked about how I had seen this YouTube video from a very nice gal. Her channel is Married to the Farm. I will link to it down below because I did find it very helpful. She sprayed the paint on in her camper and said it went really well. She was really glad that she did it. Oh, and actually probably before we tape, probably before and after we tape, we're gonna have to clean and degrease mm. everything so yep. that the paint sticks very well. Yep. Because I'm not a big fan of Something not working perfectly. No, standing it, the primer back down and redoing it. Nope. Just for the record, I was okay. Even though I didn't want to keep this stuff, I was okay with it. It was Tom that... Hold up though, but did you tell them what you were going to... So I no, wanted this all No, we're not this... talking about painting <laughs> fabric. Let's just move on. Okay, no, you, Tom, wanted you to... have a lot of work to do you today. You have a lot of work to do something. today. You have a lot of work to do. We don't have time to rehash this. And so we'll start ripping stuff out and then we'll start masking. Oh, there we go. There, so this all comes off as one, but then you got to take all the brackets off. I see. So Dawn and I were talking, because I got to rebuild these because they're super fancy. <laughs> um, we could just rip the material off and save the frame. Wow, they really went to town state playing that on the... It's a sleeper. Which means it's super lightweight, right? Which means why are we getting rid of it? We're getting rid of like one person, two people, three people could sleep out here. You don't want more people sleeping in this camper, remember? I'm just saying. Is it attached? Well, I imagine it is. I didn't even think to pull on it to see. Oh. <laughs> you know, it might just be sitting there. I'm going to close it back up. <laughs> it's just sitting. How are we going to get it out? I don't know. That's what I was wondering too. <laughs> Does it come apart? Oh wow. Never mind. It comes apart. <laughs> the one I bought to replace this with does not come apart. The... Oh, nice. There we go. Okay, good. Real so, quick, what kind of camper is it? Just because I know we'll get asked about that too. It's a 2013 Koala something made by Skyline. Mm -hmm. They don't exist anymore. And when we bought it, it had water damage. So that's why we pulled up the floor. Tom fixed all that. Yeah. And the rest of what you are gonna see in this video is cosmetic <laughs> that did not have to be done, but we chose to do for fun. Okay. Yeah, did you hear that last part? For fun. Um, I am actually really happy that all the mold and all the water damage repairs mm -hmm. already been done that we did that earlier. Yeah. So now we really are just doing cosmetics. Like it's that a little feels... less stressful. 
I mean, I know there's a lot to do, but yeah. Yeah, well, if we had more than two weeks, it wouldn't be stressful. <laughs> it might even be fun. It, I mean, it could potentially be fun. <laughs> I have heard people enjoy this sort of thing. <laughs> so we only have a 24 inch door, but I think this must be how they got it in. It looks like a big Tetris piece right now. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's like it came in this way. <laughs> so we knew that if we were gonna spray all the paint in the camper, it was gonna need to be masked very well and that that was gonna take a lot of time. And so Tom was working on finishing up like trim and flooring and stuff. So I got to work masking along with Adeline. All right, well, um, we got everything pulled out of the slide and I have been working on masking, which I'll show you in a minute because I think it's actually been going pretty well. <laughs> but Tom has been working on all the tedious, um, annoying trim stuff that annoying I trim put stuff. off earlier this year. Yeah. And what did we decide about you and trim? I don't like trim. Okay, yeah. That what we That's decided? what I was gonna. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't like trim. Um, I like trim when it's nice. Yeah. Um, but I'm very particular, which is why I don't like trim. Yep. So you've been working on. We needed like a cap board on yeah. the end here. And so I wanted just one piece to cover this whole end here. Yep. But I didn't want to close this off because we kind of plan on tossing shoes under here. Yes, yeah, so you made kind of like a cubby under there for shoes. So the problem with what I need to do here is um, the table saws in the barn, mm -hmm. which is a uh, ways away. <laughs> yeah. So I drew out everything, all my dimensions. Yep. And I'm going to go to the barn and sketch this out on a piece of plywood and hopefully make all the cuts right. So you don't have to keep making trips out yeah, there? Yeah, otherwise I'm trips back and forth and back and forth. That's good motivation to do it right the first time. <laughs> this is from my dad. Yeah. I mean, the skill set, being a machinist and a pattern maker. Right. Yeah. Uh, this, I grew up with this as how to make stuff. He would say, hey, I need you to make this. Yeah. Oh, and he'd hand you a piece of wood. And he'd hand yeah. me a piece of paper or a piece of wood with all the dimensions on it. Well, he's actually out in the garage right now working on his car. Are you going to go bring it to him? You, sh you should go hand it to him and be like, hey, Dad, I need you to make this. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be no, funny. No, see, with my dad, I would get more questions back. He yeah, would he'd be like, I'll like, just do it. <laughs> he would be like, so um, what edge do you want? You want yeah. an edge broken? Or... And I'd be like, just make the board, Dad. <laughs> Awesome. Once you're back in, we'll see how it fits. Okay. Oh. Well, have my board. <laughs> yep. Ooh, it looks cool. All right. It looks like uh, what I wanted, I think. All right, let's see if it fits. Does Tom have to walk all the way back out to the barn or oh, not? Oh, man, I hope not. <laughs> no, I think I got it. You're pretty good at this stuff. Ooh, fancy. All right. So we got to we gotta plug in. I stuffed it underneath here. That'll go there. And then I got trim pieces to go over all this stuff. Yeah. I say it fits, huh? So that's what I was going for. Cool, that looks awesome. Good work. Thanks. I'll show also the um, little board and vat you did for me here. Can't get away from the Can't board Can't get vat. away. So, Tom, that looks really good. Like, we wanted to mimic the pattern on there. And it, it does. <laughs> Go figure. Sure <laughs> so once it's all painted, the hope was that it would look like that was always meant to be one wall and not that there used to be an opening there into the bedroom. So uh -huh. cool. I'm excited to see it painted. But I have been, Adeline and I have been masking yeah. and I'm, I'm trying to be very particular with it. So that your husband doesn't freak out. So that Tom thinks I'm doing a good job and <laughs> that he thinks spraying all of this is going to be a good idea. I did keep track of my hours. Um, I will. I want to give. I want to give an honest review of this process. Okay. So I have been working on the masking for about three and a half hours. So I have this whole space back here. I also did the ceiling because we don't want to paint the ceiling, and I did like the inside of the cabinet because we don't want paint in there. Um, so I mean we've. It's it's taken a while, but I would rather be masking than painting. So I'm totally okay with it. Do you have an opinion yet? 
I have no opinions until I have put some paint down to see how well that's gonna go. Okay. Because I'm concerned about that. I would like it to go super smooth so that I can just be done with it. Because yeah. if this could, like, so it's Saturday afternoon right now. If we could be done by like midday Monday with all the paint, mm -hmm. I would be a super happy guy. All right. Well, I think we're tracking along for that. I am, like, while I'm doing all this, in that video we talked about last week, I'll link to it again, where the gal um, painted her camper, there was one thing she forgot to mask, and it was a window over the sink and stuff. And so I'm just, like, waiting. I'm like, I know there's going to be something I'm going to forget to mask, and we're not going to know uh, until it's done. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I will do a very good job going over making that's sure true. that nothing gets missed. So that's Tom's job. So if anything gets missed, it's actually his fault, not mine. It's actually true. <laughs> I have eight hours into putting up masking tape and plastic. Adeline had about three hours, which she doesn't work quite as fast as me. All right, Adeline keeps coming back for more. <laughs> She's been working in the bathroom, which looks really good. You only have one request. What's your request? I don't know what. That we don't sell this camper right away? Oh uh, yeah, I don't want to <laughs> sell it again after we do put a bunch of work into it. Yeah, you really liked like in the last camper, like the mountains and stuff that we painted in the back, so. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll probably do something fun in this one too. We'll see. Just not before this trip. <laughs> and what are your thoughts on selling it now, Tom? I think maybe we're thinking we'll keep this one for Well, I looked at I looked at what we would have to pay to for a different one to replace this one. Mm -hmm. To upgrade to anything like different, really like really different than this one. Yeah. And it's like a lot more. So yeah. I'm good. Alright. Well, you heard it. And about how much time did you have in masking? I probably had four to five hours in masking. Okay. And so, so total over what, 12 to 15 hours of masking everything so that we could paint it. All right, so we have everything masked off. The last thing we need to do is mask the ceiling in here because we don't want to paint that. But I want to show you, we've been using this um, 3M, I don't know, whatever it is hand plastic. masker plastic there's a like a dispenser you can get for it but we didn't it was thirty dollars we didn't buy that but what's cool about it is it actually like static clings to whatever it is that you're doing so it makes it a lot easier so i want to show you how that looks on the ceiling and how it makes it go pretty quick so we'll show you that So then you just kind of get it into place and then we'll just go around and tape the edges. So we got everything masked off and then Tom read with the paint sprayer how you had to like prime it and get it ready to paint. Which did you video me getting this thing all set up and I don't know. not fig and it not not wanting that to spray? That video, no. Oh. Well, I get this thing primed. And I follow the priming directions completely right. And then I switch it over to spray and it keeps turning off. And I'm like, why, why on earth will it not spray? Like, why is it not running? Turns out, the beginner tip here, it only runs when it sprays. So as soon as you flip it into to spray mode, the motor shuts off. It only turns back on when you squeeze the trigger to spray. I was like, oh my gosh, I spent like 20, 30 minutes now you know yeah and the primer though so we were using the coverall primer zinser oil based it was too thick though so we left the the five gallon pail in our house because it's cold out it's like 20 degrees outside we left it in our house so that it wouldn't thicken up from getting cold and then we carried the bucket from our house straight over to the camper put it in the camper which was being heated um so we thought it would be fine it was too thick so we had to add mineral spirits to it to thin it down um, mm -hmm. I may have probably put a little too much mineral spirits in it. I mean, you uh, live and learn. I mean, maybe a little bit. So you got it working, you figured out how it works, and you started back in the bunk area. And at first, it seemed like it was going really well. And then what happened? At first. If you've never used one of these, they're probably fantastic for a big area outside. It sprays a lot, 
really fast. And so as I saw in that gal's video, you start getting runs. Yeah. Because, I mean, I'm working in a really confined space with a Mongo sprayer. And you can turn the nozzle down, but it just comes out slower, not less. Um, so I got runs everywhere. Like, everywhere. I turned around and I'm like, oh my gosh, what is going on? I called Dawn and I was like, you need to come out here and you need to bring a roller because I need to roll over all this. Yep. So, and did that did that help with the mm -hmm. runs? Okay, so you were able to yeah. roll them out. Well, what I did then is I ran over and I rolled everything that started running. And then, like, I just totally stopped painting at this point. Ran around, rolled over the runs, and then I added paint. We had a, a five gallon jug of primer that I had been dumping into a different five gallon pail, thinned out there. And so I just added a ton more paint to it and then mixed that in to try and thicken it up. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I oh, think okay. I left it sit for like a half hour and then started doing it again. And then, then it went that on much better. better. Yeah, yeah. And so the, the biggest problem that we ran into, correct me if I'm wrong, is that because it was 20 degrees outside, we couldn't have a ton of doors or windows open to keep it warm so the paint would dry and go on, right? Um, so it got very fumy, but it also kept a lot of moisture in there, which caused the tape and plastic to fall down. Like almost all of it. Um, so none of the tape has any adhe had any adhesion after that. Um, but what do you do at that point? Like it's all like it's it was because yes, we're applying. I think we put like three to four gallons on, which is amazing that we put that much in like on. forty-five minutes or yeah. an hour. Yeah. What was such a bummer about this then is that all of the twelve to fifteen hours of taping and putting up plastic that we did now it's all coming down. Like the, where we were going to make our time back was using the sprayer yeah, for to prime layers, yeah. and then to paint and even to paint the cabinets too. So now here we are all of the tape and plastics falling down and we're like, yeah, do we retape it or what? So we're having a drying issue right now. Like I can see in the camper where all of the structural rails are it is not drying right where the rails are at where like the shell of the camper and so we've been trying to crank the heat in here and get it really warm to get those areas to dry uh, the other problem is uh, all the plastic fell and a lot of the tape came off after I was done spraying I'm not really sure if that was a moisture thing or a temperature thing so basically we decided because like tons of it came off we're just gonna roll the rest like when we did the first camper the biggest hurdle of it was getting the primer on everything mm -hmm. so that it covered well this yep. all covered amazing like mm -hmm. everything is covered yeah and so now that we have it dry and it's all the priming's done we're gonna roll and brush the rest all the mm -hmm. color yeah so it's kind of disappointing, but mm. we know these coats now of the paint, because it is covered very well in primer, will go pretty quickly. And so, correct me if I'm wrong, but if you were in a climate, or if we had done this a different time of year, where we could have had it opened up, that's what the gal did in the video we saw, where we could have the doors open, the ceiling vents open, so we're getting the moisture going out too as it's drying and getting put into the air. I, I feel like the tape and plastic would have held. I mean, she didn't mention any problems with that. No, and I watched her whole video and none of her tape came down. I think it was basically, yeah, that we put three to four gallons of fluid on the walls and all of the fumes and stuff were just, like, it was floating everywhere and it couldn't escape anywhere. If I opened the door, it all just froze. Yeah. Okay, so would you say <laughs> if someone... On, re which, on record, hold on, my hand's on a Bible. If yep. somebody wanted to use a sprayer to do their camper, do you think it's a good idea? <laughs> Run away! Run away! Stop! <laughs> what, I mean, what do you really think? I would still do it again. If um, knowing what we now, making the changes we just okay, talked about. Okay, no, but so so what, what I told Dawn was different about this is I'm used to spraying cars. So cars, you can adjust how much comes out. Okay. I mean, you can raise and lower the pressure here, but what I saw overnight, which I've sprayed with this one time, um, 
is the same volume comes out. It just comes out at a different rate. Okay. Um, so it's more like the application, like how it's going on. It's not changing the volume coming out. Okay. Uh, if you're painting a car, you can change the volume coming out. You can put a really thin coat. I couldn't figure out how to do that. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe tell me in the comments if well, I... Well, I think you can get different tips for it too, or different... Um... Yeah, you can get different So tips. I wonder if we would have... So, and we did go kind of overboard with the paint sprayer because... The... Tom wants to use it to paint our barns and sheds. So that was the other thing I was gonna say is if we had bought a really small sprayer, the one that like you screw the little mm -hmm. cup on the bottom and you just shoot that at a time, that probably would have been a better way to go for inside of a camper. Okay. If you could do that, I would say yes, absolutely do that in a camper. But because we bought this monster one, because we're planning on doing like the roofs of both our barns are like two sheds, like that's a lot of square footage. Mm. So this will be awesome for that. But it probably was just a little overkill for the camper. Okay, so you're not saying that it would never be a good idea to no. spray the paint? Nope, I'm not. And you know, I think it also comes down to which would you rather do? I would rather mask than and walk away. paint and paint and paint. I easily, I had more than 12 hours or 15 hours into painting our old camper and it was much smaller. And so, it, it, I mean, would you rather mask or paint? I would rather mask, so. And I would paint, I would have done the spray painting too, but Tom won't let me, so it's fine. Like, maybe if we had a, like one of those smaller sprayers, I don't would know have been that you can go on the internet and tell people that I won't let you do. Something. I don't mean it like that. We don't have a, yeah. He would just prefer he were the one doing it if we're using a sprayer like that, which is totally fine. He's better at that stuff. He's done it before, so we're good. Don't worry. <laughs> Try again. Next? Say it again. Say it like, again. No. Happier. Honestly, we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right. So what's next? We are going to roll the paint on the walls. We are going to paint them white like our other camper. Um, mm. And then we do have a color we're going to do on the base cabinets. Not the charcoal color we did in the other camper. We're going to do a color. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you that next week um, along with some other design ideas yeah because we gutted the slide like there's nothing in the slide right now oh yeah we got to show you uh, the couch that we got and the tables that we're gonna put in there so um yeah so that'll be the fun stuff this was the not so fun stuff oh, i gotta make something for around all the window boxes yep super fun super fun <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do next but i mean i don't know we had hoped to be a little further by this point but i still feel like we're tracking along okay <laughs> I always want to be further. You always want to be further. So, anyway, so that's where we're at for now. But we hope that you have a great weekend. We hope your projects come together better than ours. <laughs> but we love you and we'll visit with you again soon. Bye bye. <laughs>